Welcome. In this short video, we're going to show how to use color coding in Roots Magic. Now, color coding is the ability to color the names of a group of people that have some characteristic in common. So, let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is I am going to uh, color code Dr. James Smith's ancestors. So, in other words, James Smith, his parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents, and so on. Now what I'm going to do color coding is I'm going to go to the Tools menu and come down here to Color Code People. Now I have two different things to select from. I need to choose the color. I'm going to set the color and I can choose from a number of different colors. I'll go ahead and use red. And then I select which group of people that I want to color code. And I have a number of options here. And in this case I'm just going to choose the ancestors of that current person. Click OK and Roots Magic has color coded the ancestors of Dr. James Smith. Now it looks like it color coded everybody here on the pedigree view but that's because those are all ancestors. But this is more useful when you do something like switch to the family view. So here on the family view again his direct ancestors are the ones that are color coded. Now if I had color coded myself for example this is nice because as I'm moving through families it's easy to select which is my direct line. So if I'm trying to come back to myself back down through generations even though I may have uh, multiple arrows here to come back through different lines to follow through I, I can spot my direct line because it has been color coded. Now let's go ahead and switch back here and let's show another couple of items. Uh, I'm going to go back up to Tools and then to Color Code People again. Now I'm going to choose a different option right here. I'm going to say I want to clear all the colors. In other words, I want to uh, get, get rid of these colors, set them back to where they were, and there we go. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a little bit of color coding again. So I'm going to select Color Code People and we'll just stick with red here again. And I could mark the descendants of that highlighted person. Or I could say I want to select people from a list. Or I could color code just that highlighted person. Or if I have a named group, which is basically like selecting people from a list and giving it a name, I could select a named group as well. And we have a, another short video that talks all about how to use name groups. So rather than cover that, uh, I'd refer you to that other that other short video. But if I did want to select a p group of people from a list, I would go ahead and select that, choose OK. And Roots Magic will bring up a list of everybody in my file and I could then just go through and just click on the people that I want to color code or I could say mark a group and I could mark the family or the ancestors, descendants or I could say select people by data fields. And when I do that I might pick something like this. I might enter birth place contains Wales. In other words, if I want to select everybody who was born in Wales, click OK. Roots Magic has marked 15 people. And if I were to scroll down through the list, I would see those 15 people checked. Click OK. And Roots Magic is now displaying everybody who was born in Wales with red. Okay, it's, it's basically fairly simple there. Okay, now I'm going to show one last type of color coding. I'm going to go in again and clear all the colors. And you don't always have to clear all the colors. Roots Magic lets you use uh, multiple colors. So let's say I wanted, instead of color coding Dr. James Smith's ancestors all one color, let's say I wanted each of the four grandparent lines different colors. Well, I'd select the first grandfather, the parental grandfather, and I'd go to color code people and I'd say let's go ahead and make that line red. We're doing it for the ancestors. Okay now we've got a red line. Now I'm going to go down to his grandmother on his father's side. We're going to do the same thing color code people except we're going to select a different color. Now I'm not clearing the colors here. I'm going to leave those that were red red. I'm going to select blue do the ancestors of this person and now I have that line is blue. And we can just continue with each of the four grandparent lines. So let's go ahead and pick green for this next one. Ancestors. Got a green line. And finally we'll do that fourth line and we'll pick purple. 
and we're going to do ancestors. And so I have now color coded the four grandparent lines. Now, one common question is what happens if, as you're color coding, a person is in, in both colors? Well, the answer to that is whatever the last color you color that a particular person, that's what color they will be. So if they happen to be in this red lineage and also in this blue lineage, they would have ended up blue because I did blue second. So in other words, the last color that you set for them will be the color that they go by. Okay, now, as I mentioned, this color coding is not just displayed here on the pedigree view. It is also available here on the family view. So if I go to the family view, you'll see the various colors. It'll also do the descendant view. So if we're on the descendant view, you can see the people color coded on that descendant view. Same thing with the people view. You can have your people view with the various colors and your color coding there as well. And finally, the timeline view. Any, any family members that are color coded for, for a particular person's timeline will be color coded as well. Okay, now, the other places you'll see it is over here in this side list. You'll see that as I scroll through that side list, you'll see the different lines. So it's easy for me to see. This is, my, this is the father's father's line. Green, that's the mother's father's line. And so it makes it easy to pick out what line a particular person is. Or if I had selected it based on people born in Wales, it would make it easy to spot people that were born in Wales without even having to look at the data. I can, I can detect that just from viewing uh, the color of the, of the list. Okay, finally, let's go ahead and show you how this looks in reports. If I go up here into reports, let's go ahead and do a pedigree chart. Now, I'm picking a pedigree chart, but there's uh, a, many of the reports will have these same options, and they are available in those options as well. Uh, any, any report that supports color coding will have a checkbox right here that says color coding. Now, if that is unchecked, the report will print in plain old, plain old black and white. If I turn on color coding, then that, that report will have the names displayed in color. Now, there's another nice little item, and I'm going to show you this before we actually generate this report. And that is, if this report is one that has an index, and there's a number, quite a number of them that will print an index, a name index at the end of the report. But if it does have an index, when you click on the options for the index, indexes also have an option for the name index to include the print, the color coding. And this is independent from the color coding in the report. So you could have the report print in color and the index be just black and white, or you could have the report be in black and white and have the index be in color, or you could have both be in color. And that's what I'm gonna do in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and generate this pedigree chart that has color coding turned on. And I need to size this back down so that you can see. And so here is our pedigree chart. And our pedigree chart has the color coding. The father's line, the father's mother's line, the mother's father's line, and the mother's mother's line. And you can see that you've got it color coded. If you have a color printer, then this will print in color when you print that. And as you scroll on a little farther, there is your colorful index. By having color coding turned on in your index, you're able to easily, in this case, spot which of those lines each one of these people uh, belongs to. And that is how to use color coding in Roots Magic.